we up to today, Yoo-hoo. boys? Up on Garzons Pass. Yeah. Scoping a jump spot. Yeah. It's been dumping snow over the weekend. They closed uphill to Alta, which is kind of a bummer. Uphill's closed at Brighton, pretty much all the resorts. So we resorted to Guardsmen. Ha! Resorted. Resorted. You like what I did? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, it's low angle here, low avi risk. And uh, we're going to build a jump. And Otto said he even spotted a, a couple of rails or something. In yeah, the trees, a couple, so. couple of rails in the trees. So. Yeah. So it should be a good day. We're primed, boys. It's going to be good. Let's, Ready? Let's get hiking. Yeah. Let's get it. This yeah. is the place. This is, the this is home. And yeah, there's really nothing above us. So that's good. Nothing massive rock wise. 45 to 50 centimeter consistent base. It's thick, like dense, which is good. Mostly like twigs and trees underneath, from what I can tell. Alex did just find a rock. I mean, they're, gonna, they're probing where we think we're going to land right now. So, cool. I think, I think we're fine. I mean, mm -hmm. it's just. Might not go as big today as we can. Sure. Got to not die today. It's still today. early season. It's yeah. early, yeah. I mean, we're just getting started. Yeah. No, so. it's still going to be fun for we'll sure. We'll play it by ear, yeah. It's starting to take shape already. Beautiful thing. I love Otto. Otto, there he is. Just such a clutch. Token man. skier. <laughs> oh, no, that's fine. Walk it right out. That's going to pack the whole foundation of it. Yeah, yeah that's fine. What up for progression? We just built this fat kicker and Dan is gonna guinea pig it for us. Let's see what he's got. So first hit feels pretty good guys. It's sendy definitely. We can we can go big. It's hot though. I'm already getting hot. Yes, Trav. There it is. E <laughs> No words, ladies and gentlemen. How did that feel being upside down? Good, man. I'm going to keep my eyes open next time. <laughs> Maybe I'll be able to see the landing. <laughs> nice. Dude, what a legend.
You okay? I think I broke my leg. Oh. Uh, Go for it. Stop recording. I think this one. Go for it. Stop recording. Well, guys, it could be worse, but it's also not great. It looks like Travis broke his leg, possibly. We're not really sure, but as soon as he landed, he immediately felt pain and he thought he broke it. Um, possibly his femur, but we're really not sure. So good news is he's calm. He's not in shock or anything. Um, he just said his leg really hurts a lot. So we got him stabilized. Ari called first responders. Otto immediately started like checking over him and Otto's got some first aid training. So that was really sick. Thank goodness for that. And Nicholas and Nick said that they spotted a gurney somewhere in the trees, like a couple hundred yards away. So they hiked down, grabbed that, brought it back and uh, we're about to throw Travis on the gurney to try to get him out of here. So a little bit of a, a heavier day than we were hoping for guys, but uh, we're glad that he's conscious. We're glad that, uh, you know, he didn't land on his head or anything, but it is what it is. Did a good job grabbing that gurney. Dude, oh, that, was, that was all time, bro. That's why insane. I go to the gym, boys. <laughs> <laughs> it's insane that you guys found that. Yeah, dude, found it down by the creek. Wow. All right, first thing we're going to do is lift his leg and slide this all the way up right underneath the cleft of his butt cheek, his left butt cheek. I'm going to pull one left? Uh, yeah, in just a second. Feeling nauseous at all? No, not really. It's just tingling in my arms for a while and then mm -hmm. subsided. Okay. All right, I want you to pull and lift. I want you to put one hand under his thigh, one hand under his ankle. I'm going to come on your right side. I'm just not ready for this. You're no. ready for it. You got Once we try. get this traction on, it's actually going to take a lot of your pain away. Right. Thank you. Ah. Ah. We love you, buddy. Awesome. Yeah. I can worse than the actual crash. Oh, my God, yeah. <laughs> traction splint good. Uh, we got it. We got the traction pulled. I just got to do the straps now. Okay. You feeling any relief, Travis? Um, no? Oh, bet. Uh, Good. Oh, bet. That thing usually works. Are you ready? Ready. Count of three. One, two, three. Push, 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 push. Push, push. Keep going. It's stuck on something. There you go, there you go. Oh. We got you, bud. Oh. You're in the money now. Oh, we good, buddy. That was awesome. Okay, we're going to just kind of... No problem, buddy. Do you want us to move yeah. you? Or are you in a decent position right now? Okay. What'd he say? He's okay right now. Okay. All right, on my count. One, two, three. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much. Hang in there, Trav. You're going to be fine. Hang in, bro. Hang in. Well guys, kind of a heavy end to the day today. Not what we want to see at all happen when you're hitting a jump or just riding in general. Uh, unfortunately, injuries happen. Fortunately, we were really close to the road. So calling EMTs was pretty easy and it was simple to get to them. Uh, if we didn't have that gurney though, that would have been really challenging. I definitely want to take some first aid, like emergency response courses and, and try to get better at this stuff. Auto had level head and he knew what to do if it's a broken leg he was saying you got to basically pull on the leg and keep tension on it to try to keep the broken bone from causing any cuts inside the leg because then he could start to bleed internally which would just be really bad etc so it was pretty heavy but uh lesson learned guys 
be really cautious when you're in the back country, especially uh, we were fortunate to be so close to the road. Um, if we were like really far out, things could be really bad. I've been listening to a podcast called Dark Starts lately. They've been talking a lot about backcountry safety, which is really cool. And one of the things they were mentioning is having like a splint in your kit and being able to make a makeshift sled out of like a snowboard and stuff for if like stuff gets really bad. So I might look into that for my kit. Yeah, it's definitely training a little bit. Yeah, I think it's important that totally, we, totally. If not take the EMT course, at least educate ourselves. Absolutely, yeah. That was just un- It got serious so quick. Unexpected. Yeah, we were all kind of warming up and Travis just went for it, man. Like that was gnarly, dude, for just going for that backy. Um, oh well, heavy day, guys, heavy day, but we're learning something it. yeah you, you hate to see stuff like this but got to take it as a learning experience and we'll use it to progress you know we will a huge shout out to unified pd and unified fire authority and the sheriff's office you guys were awesome for coming and helping out and uh getting him on the ambulance it sucks that he's got to go to the hospital especially during covid right now so say your prayers for travis guys uh good news is he was staying calm and it does seem like it's just a break in his leg so far from what we can tell. His hospital bills are probably gonna be pretty high, so um, maybe we'll try to start a GoFundMe for him or something. For sure. Hey guys, just a quick update on Travis. Good news, he is back home and out of the hospital. They took an x-ray and it looked like it was just a dislocated hip. So they popped it back into place and he said he felt much better almost right away. And they sent him home. Um, bad news is they said that they found a little bit later on the x-ray what looks like a fractured part of his pelvis possibly so he's going back in for a CT scan so he's not completely out of the woods but um, all in all it still sounds like it was much better than we thought it was we did go ahead and set up a GoFundMe for Travis he has health insurance but most health insurance doesn't cover stuff like ambulance rides or going to the ER or especially getting rescued in the back country. So if you guys can contribute anything to help, we'd really appreciate it, it would be huge. Also, if you guys can just please send out your prayers to Travis for a speedy recovery, but it sounds like maybe, just maybe, he might be able to salvage some of his snowboard season this year. Speaking of snowboard season, stay tuned for Brighton's opening day video, guys. That's gonna drop real soon. I know this was a heavy video, but If you could give a thumbs up, that would be awesome, and share this video. We are going to get more and more educated with backcountry safety, guys. So as I said, this is definitely a learning experience. I hope you guys are progressing in anything and everything that you're doing. We'll see you in the next one. All right, bye. Chicken wings. <laughs> GoPro, stop recording. GoPro, stop recording. Uh, GoPro, stop recording.